story at 5.30, a food fight brewing in the city of Norfolk. The big question, should food trucks be allowed to conduct business in the city? It's a discussion City Council is having right now. Ten of your side's Jason Marks is live at City Hall with more on this proposal and its effects. Jason? Yeah, Nicole, here at City Council on the 10th floor, the council is getting briefed by the Planning Commission on this idea of having food trucks here in the city of Norfolk. Now, right now, a truck such as the Hubcap Grill can only set up on private property. That's the only place they can sell food in the city. The truck's owners would like to be able to set up in public places, such as outside scope and along streets here in downtown. Many of the restaurants here in the area are against having food trucks because they believe the trucks will take away from their current business. Truck owners say that won't be the case because if someone wants to sit down and eat, that's something they can't provide. In the end, everyone is hoping council can come up with a solution that everyone can agree on. Fancy truck thing. That's uh, kind of a really small way of looking at things. They, they assume that there's a pie that's a certain size and that you know, the trucks coming in will eat their pie. And my argument and what's been proven in other cities is that the trucks come in and they actually bring customers. They bring more people. So the pie expands and it's, it's great for everybody. Yeah, and the hope really is that there can be some sort of compromise here. Maybe allow the trucks to be in the city during certain hours on public property. Maybe if they're not allowed to set up on Granby Street, but maybe they can set up on side streets. So maybe not in front of businesses. So there are a lot of things being kicked around here. Obviously, City Council is getting that briefing. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to listen to what they have to say. City Council will actually vote on this in the near future. But now that's the latest here in Norfolk. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.